I probably have one more in. Okay, good. So, Israel without weapons. Well, that's not a good thing. Samuel, first Samuel, chapter 13, verses 16 through 22. Saul and his son Jonathan, Jonathan, and the men with him were staying in Geba, G I B E A H. That's a little note. A note. Two Hebrew manuscripts, most Hebrew manuscripts, Geba, G E B A, a variant of Geba. Okay, in Benjamin. While the Philistines camped at Mekmash, M I K M A S H, riding par raiding parties went out from the Philistine camp in three detachments. One turned towards Ophra, O P H R A H, in the vicinity of Shaul. S H U A L another towards Beth Haran B E T H H O R O N and the third toward the boundary land overlooking the valley of Zeboyim 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 Zeboyim? Is there a Zegorlam? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I wish I knew how to pronounce these things correctly. That would be cool. Z E B O Y I M. Zeboyim. <laughs> Facing the wilderness. Wilderness. Not a blacksmith could be found in the whole of land of Israel because the Philistines had said. Otherwise, the Hebrews will make swords and spears. I mean, yeah, that is a pretty good tragedy. Go through their land, killing all the blacksmiths. This is fine. Your propeller plane. Maybe they're spraying for mosquitoes. No, they did that. Good. Anyway, so all Israel went down to the Philistines. To have their plows points mock it, mock rocks, musket or something, whatever, matrix, sorry, axes and stickles, sickles, stickles, sickles, Septuagint, Hebrew, plow points. But plow point was already mentioned once. What? Sharpened. The price was two thirds of a shekel. Hey, <laughs> you make money out of it. Actually, yeah, that's great. Just kill all the blacksmith. No one can. Don't do anything after it. Just charge them. <laughs> This charge up for using yours. And a shekel is, that is about one-fourth ounce or about eight grams. We don't know because things change over the years, blah, blah, blah. No one really uses this as a measurement. Although I think that's still Israelite money. Israeli money, I'm not quite sure on that. Um, but... I made a video kind of going over the weights and measurements of the Bibles next to the list of stuff. If you want to check out the list of stuff, it is a, well, list of various things. For sh sharpening forks and axes, and for repairing gourds, good. So, on the day, the battle of... Of the battle, no soldier with Saul and Jonathan had a sword, sword or a spear in his hand, 
Well, he saw and his son and Jonathan had them. He probably don't know he's looking for them. King and Prince. Yes. 1053. This is all I can do for a video. Sorry. 